Hello and uh, welcome back for, for my videos. In this video I will show how you can install Debian 9.7 from scratch if you build a Hyper-V virtual machine on Windows 10. First you need to go for Debian.org. When you're going for, for Debian.org, if you don't have the image, you click on Getting Debian. And then you go for the Download Install image. And then you pick the, the small one here, Tiny CDs and AMD64 if you have a 64-bit system. If you have a new computer, it's 64 AMD, so download this. When you are completed the download, you need to create your own virtual machine. Let's create it. Right-click on your host and press New and pick up the virtual machine. I'll call it the Debian. 97 video guide. I place it here, it's fine for me. The next, I will want to pick up the generation number two, it's much better. It's fine, 1024, uh, and I use dynamic memory, it's, it's completely fine. The next one, I pick my lane one network card. It's uh, in my virtual switch. I will show you uh, after this one, but it's using my local network to, to get on the network so I can go out and install my package I want. Sometimes you have trouble if you don't pick up uh, the local network, so that's what I'm doing here. The next one is the video and uh, the image where I should be, and I want to storage in my Hyper-V library. I only need uh, 50 gigabytes. It's a dynamic disk, so I could pick one terabyte if I want. But this is fine for me. It's a test image. Now I'll pick my my operation system boot image. And for this, this is my image I have downloaded. If you pick the, the link I show you, you will get exactly the same image. Double click and open it and click next and finish. Before you start up the machine, go for settings and going for security boot, disable it. And uh, it's it's right one here and click OK again, apply OK. And uh, then we are ready to connect, but before I will show you my switch, switch manager. You can see my lane here, it's an external network, it's allow memory operation system to share this network adapter. You need to have this one first, else you can get trouble to go on the network, just in case, for your information. Now we are ready to connect and starting up the virtual machine. And we are almost ready to install Debian. And now I will show the guide. Here I want to install the operation system. And I'll pick English and I'll go for Europe and I will I'll choose uh, Denmark because that's my location and I want the United Kingdom uh, language so that's fine for me and the keyboard it's Danish of course you need to to pick up your right keyboard else it's uh, you'll get the wrong one and then we just uh, wait a little bit and then we need to the next screen. It's co configuration my system. And we just call this for Debian 97.7. And then we call it video guide. That's fine for me. I pick up a, a root password. And then I need to retype it and my full name, my account name, and my password for my own user. If you see, you get both a root password and your own password. Then we continue here. Used entire disk, it's fine for me. All the files is fine. Finish and yes. Uh, 
and then we are almost done and ready to next step and it's 98 and so close then we are there and it's uh, your installation is scan label no we don't want to scan anything else and it's still from Denmark and I want to use a Danish FTP address no proxy and I'm receiving a little bit files now and it's asking about it wants uh, to send statistics about it and I don't want to send anything and then we wait again and we just need this as a terminal view so I don't want the desktop environment and the print server I only want the standard utilities so continue it's up to you what you have uh, picked but for, for me I only use it for, for a server so in this case I don't want a desktop environment And then we are almost done with the software installation. It's taking a while, but thank you for, for waiting. Now we are done. So the next step is waiting, waiting. Then installing the GNU bootloader, and it's hopefully. A little bit more quickly and yes it is and then we have finished the installation let's uh, shake a little little moment and then it's uh, complete and need to reboot and we say continue now when the reboot is finished you can see the bootloader and then you continue it's uh, booting up now and you can see here I can log in with my user but uh, and I can ping google.com everything is respond it's perfect if config I don't get access for this and I can't use the uh, the sudo command so exit and uh, go for your root user and you can use ipconfig if config sorry here we go mm -hmm. interesting but I can do sudo app get It's going very good for me now, so I can say apt-get installed htop, it's fine, it's installed now and you can see I can install my package, so I have instant connection and I have everything is running, so thank you for watching my video about how you install uh, Debian 9.7 from scratch in a Hyper-V environment on Windows 10. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you want to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions please make them below in the comment and I hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends. So again thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. See you next time.